When I relocated my dad's layout to my basement, everything fit well, except the staging yard. Dad's design had a siding that stuck out several feet into the room and was going to block half the couch. So I had to remove the staging yard and come up with a new plan. My options were very limited, but I liked the idea of using a narrow adjacent wall for a modest switching yard. The only problem was that I didn't want to join into the main line right there. The other complication was that I wanted the access to the off-scene staging yard to be invisible. So I started to give thought to making the yard at a lower level and installing a dropping helix to get the equipment there. The yard ended up being 12 inches lower than the main line, so I was going to need several feet of track to make the connection with a decent grade. I decided to use one of the sidings under the coal facility as the entrance. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I mocked up the track and gave it a test. Okay. So a 16% grade is too much. Got it. For version 2 of the Helix, I moved the entrance a few inches towards the back wall and reduced the grade to about 6%. The math was better, but laying track under the bench proved to be a losing battle of near constant derailments. Scrap another 20 feet of track and a bunch of time. For version 3, I cut out the main yard and removed it entirely. I reconfigured the benchwork and constructed a helix module in my workshop where I could be careful and precise. Then I put the helix on an ATV lift under the bench, jacked it into place, and made the connections. First test proved to be a success. I put the main yard back in place, restored electrics, and mended the rough scenery. With the main yard back in place, I turned to making the entrance as hidden as possible. The coal facility was still there in the way of the entrance track, so the answer was to make the entrance through the building. At first I tried some miniature linear actuators to lift the door and some model airplane landing gear retracts to open the entrance. It worked, but was very noisy and crude. I replaced the actuators with a small pneumatic ram driven by my compressor. Better, but not reasonable. Helix version 3.3 uses the pneumatic ram driven by a pair of tiny compressors from a Keurig coffee machine. Coupled with a few solenoid valves, the package is now appropriately sized, self-contained, and fairly quiet. Everything runs off 12 volts, so wiring is easy. The door is made up of a bit of quarter-inch steel rod tacked together with a welder and topped with a bit of styrene. When the switch is thrown, one compressor puts air into the ram while an opposing solenoid valve lets the air out of the other end of the ram, pushing a bar that lifts the two legs of the door. A micro-switch stops the compressor when the door is fully opened. When the switch is reversed, the second compressor adds air to the other end of the ram, while the other solenoid valve makes room for the piston to retract. Another micro switch stops the action when the door is fully closed. <laughs> 